This is a very common problem that after updating Windows, system gets slow. It happens in Windows 10 and Windows 11 both. We will be doing very easy steps to fix this problem and this will not take much time and it is pretty easy to do so. So let's go ahead and fix it. If your computer is running slow, especially after update on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So the very first thing here, open the file explorer. You can search file explorer in the search bar and this will open up like this. And here we need to go to the C drive and then we need to click on Windows. Now, once you find the Windows folder, just do a double click, scroll down, and here you will find software distribution. Now, you just need to do a double click here and go to downloads folder and delete if you have anything there. So, just select all and delete all from downloads. Once this is done, Close this window. Now the second step is to run the troubleshooter for update. So here in the search icon type troubleshoot and you will find the troubleshoot settings. This works best in Windows 10 and Windows 11 both. And here we will select other troubleshooters. Once you do that, a window will appear like this and you need to select Windows update troubleshooter run. So I'll just click on run and it will start fixing if there is an issue in the Windows update and if it has slowed down your computer, this will fix the problem. This might take four or five minutes, so please have patience. So it will diagnose and fix the problem. Now, once this is done, close this window and here in the, just do a right click in the start icon and then go to run. And here type clean MGR and then click on OK. Now this will open up the cleanup disk cleanup utility and from here please make sure you select this temporary internet files directx delive, delivery optimization. So basically we need to do the check mark in all items. These are all junk files and we need to get rid of it. Now in your computer you might have 10, 20, 30, 40 GB of junk sitting there and making the computer slow. So once you select all just click on OK and it will start deleting all the junk. Now, please keep this in mind that this will not delete anything created by you. So please be assured it will only delete the junk. Once this is done, do a right click in the start icon again and go to task manager. And then go to startup tab. And from here, I'll just maximize it. Please make sure that except graphics, sound, or any other program which you need at the startup, leave those and disable those unwanted application which you do not need. For example, I do not need Steam or Microsoft Teams or Cortana or any other application which you do not require at the startup every time. So to disable it, just select it and from the right side or just do a double click and you can enable or disable the startup items. This will boost up the performance a lot because once this is done, close this. And the last step which we need to do is to click on this uh, search icon and type CMD. Then please make sure you click on run as administrator. Do not click on open, run as administrator, only then it will work. I ask you to say yes, then click on yes. Here you need to type SFC space forward slash scan now. I'll just maximize it. SFC space forward slash scan now. Once you hit enter, it will start the scanning of the system. So this SFC stands for system file checker provided by Microsoft and you can let it scan. This thing might take some time, depends on the processor and the hard drive you have. Once this is done, just restart the computer, see the difference in the performance. And once it is done, then you can update your computer. Just search update and then click on Windows update settings. And from here, you can either click on resume updates or check for updates. And please do not forget to restart the computer once the whole computer is updated to the latest version. I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. Please hit the like and subscribe.